Here we are today with some very old USA stamps. Look at those first two. Those first one there is Internal Revenue stamps. Look at that. What's really cool is that first one, the two's in the center. And then that second one, even though they're the same portrait, you just see the difference in the size of the stamp. And that one happens to be a five. And the five is only in one corner. So they're different, even though they're the same. They had to go through double printing, which is really cool for those days. You know, because that's the beginning of time stuff. So that's really cool to see. Then when you get in the second row, you look at the two and the three. Now they're from 1879 to 1893. So that kind of gives you a general idea of the age of these stamps. And to think that little tiny piece of paper is still good. Isn't that something? And then that five, I've seen good value on that five. That's pretty cool. A lot of history in the old stamps, I tell you. And back in the days, it wasn't take a picture and put it in. They had to make the plate. Can you imagine all the detail and how much time it took to put all the little bits in there? I mean, the two and the three is kind of simple. If you notice, they both had the U and the S in the center of the stamp. One on each side. So that also tells you time in history, too. Okay, let's go to our second group here. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? That nice little ship is a nice two. Kind of nice. And then the second one is really amazing. I mean, it's a 10. And if you notice the cancellation on it when it says... Uh, the flight and everything and it's also got the plane right on it and stuff it says December of 1935 right on it so take a close look at that cancellation on there so that's pretty good that's when the the plane cancellation of the plane started becoming very popular in the cancellation of some of the stamps that are very valuable today so that's kind of cool but that first one with the little ship and everything is 1925. So you have a 1925 2 and a 1935 10. But what makes that one important is the cancellation with that plane of a very important flight. Part of history. Everything counts. Very nice. Okay, and then our third group, just to continue with the very old, we have our numbers. And if you notice, they all have the U and the S in the upper corners. So they're very popular and everything. Uh, they're from 1879 to 1893. So they're all from the 1800s. That's when they used to put the U and the S in opposite upper corners. So that's an important time in history too. Sometimes you just look at something and go, oh, okay, that looks nice. But if you learn the year it actually comes from, then it's a little more amazing. So these you don't find so often because you're talking the 1800s. So super old. Okay, and our last group here. There we go. Now what's interesting in that one is the blue one. That 50 cents. Okay, you have the first one, number one, in orange. Part of the exchange. Then you have your 25 cents. And brown, if you notice, they, their cancellation was more like you punched a hole through it. So there's two there. Then you get to that 50, and one has a black and white portrait in it. So that is really different. Now that one's the valuable one in this little group. 
had to go through the double printing to put the portrait in there. And then you have a regular 50, which was a security bond. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed my bringing you some of the beginning of U.S. stamps. All right, be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. By all means, share the video with others. Bye-bye now.